This is the $100 Walmart Budget Fishing Challenge. Me and my boy Connor both get $100 to pick out a rod, a reel, and five baits. But there's a twist. Me and Connor both get to pick each other out a random lure. That means the lure could be good or bad, so you guys need to stay tuned to see what happens. Once we buy all the tackle, we're both going to hop into separate cars and hit as many ponds as we can to catch the fish we need. Whoever catches a fish on each of the five baits wins the challenge. So this is how we're gonna structure this. I need five baits to fish with. My boy Connor behind the camera needs five baits to fish with. I'm only allowed to pick out four of my baits. Then Connor has to surprise me on the fifth bait. And after we're done picking our baits, we're gonna go through all the combos that they have and pick out a fishing combo to fit the $100 budget. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of you all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. So in the last video, we actually made a Bass Pro versus Walmart and the Walmart section was horrible. So we actually came out to a whole different Walmart. They got a bunch of different baits. You guys come over here. They got so many rods. And then when we come up here, I wanna to come to the front, get some more rods right here. And then they have a whole nother section of rods. So there's a lot more tackle at this Walmart and the bait selection is just a lot better. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So last time I faded away from my favorite bait, but this challenge, I got to do it. So the first bait that I'm going to be going with today is the white chatter donk. That is the sauce guys that catches donkeys. And that's my first bait of choice. You know, we got a moving bait. I'm actually going to start off with uh, with a soft plastic here. They honestly don't have that many options. So we've got a couple crawls. Normally I would throw like a rage crawl, but they don't have any. So we're kind of uh, limited on our options here. So like these are not bad. They stink though. They smell terrible. So we're actually not- Take a sniff, those. sniff test? No, no sniff test. <laughs> no uh, sniff no, test. Not on this one. <laughs> the speed crawl is good. So we're going to Texas rig this and that's going to be our first bait. So this was the first bait that we picked out. And I think this is what I'm going to do. Since I can only pick four of my baits, I think I want to do two soft plastics and then two hard baits. So let's go ahead and go over here. What Connor was saying, the options are very slim. They're not as slim as the last Walmart, but they're still pretty slim. Connor, you weren't with me there, but dude, the Walmart section was horrible. So you were saying there's not many crawls. You got some regular Ultra Vibe speed crawls here. You got these crawls down here, but that's really all the options you got. But the one thing that they have in this Walmart that they didn't have in the other Walmart, and it will also make sense on the back of this chatter dunk, is the old white flute. Look at this right here. Not only, is that going to be one of my baits today? But I can also pair it up on the back of the chatter donkey. So we're killing two birds with one stone. All right, bait number two. Let's see what we got. I've got an idea for this and I want to get a spinner bait, but the only reason is because in the last video, Noah caught a double digit. I haven't caught one of those. So maybe if we go with a spinner bait. You're taking the inspiration? I have to, I huh? have to. So there's another problem. So you though. think it's a bad decision if I don't choose a spinner bait because I caught a 10 pounder last video? Yeah, no, 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 that is, that's the thinking. <laughs> but, but another problem too is like, if you look over here, if I'm being completely honest, this from like here to here should just throw it all away and fill it up with wake baits. <laughs> but they, they don't have any wake baits, so I don't, I don't know where to go. The challenges have been treating you dirty, haven't they? If you guys don't know, Connor's favorite bait's the wake bait. He's been a little upset because no stores have them. The last right video, here. couldn't find them. This one, can't find them. So we got to work with what we have. And this is proven to catch a big fish. I mean, it did in the last Dude, one. Dude, look at that Ooh, thing. Man. All right, that's going to be bait number two for me. All right, boys. Got the old fluski, chowder donkey. Now I want to get one more hard bait. So we could always go with the top water, but I'm going to tell you guys, it is 105 degrees outside. It's a little lower, but I just don't know if a fish wants to eat its top water. Like if I was a bass today, I probably wouldn't be eating the top water. So that's an option. I just don't think it's the best because we got to win this challenge. Plus Connor could sabotage me on my fifth bait. So I need to make sure I can catch a fish on all four of these baits. One bait that I actually enjoyed throwing in the last video that I think I might have to bring it back to is a lipless crankbait. No, Are come you on. Pick it? Yeah, I want one of those, dude. Dude, this is the gas, boy. That that's is a good heat. color there. That's some heat right there, son. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. Actually, hold on, let's look at the options. So we got the regular rabble traps. Look at this one. Is that the same one I threw Ooh. in the last video? I wanna say it's the same it color. So I'm definitely not gonna do that. I'm not the biggest fan of those standard rattle traps. Nothing against rattle trap, like they're the original, but I'm just a fan of like the two taps or the red eye shads by Strike King. That's just been my favorite, that's the juice. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. Our third bait right there. So we got the flukes, chatter donk, trapperoo. All right, Connor, you got two baits. Now it's for bait number three, son. What you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna be Noah here. <laughs> 
What are you doing? Hey, you can't. Hey, hey, what are you doing? You can't. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> You're getting the chatter dog, bro. Right. I had to. I have to do the it. The chatter dog. Like ideally, I would want like a black and blue and throw it. What nice if I wanted to pick you out a chatter dog for your fifth bait? You didn't even give me a chance, bro. See, the thing is, though, I know Noah wouldn't do that because he knows I'm gonna smoke him. <laughs> Check this thing out. So we're actually gonna combine this with these craws that I picked out earlier. And I know it's maybe not the best combination, but man, that is- I know I'm not supposed- uh, Okay, so I'm not supposed to help you. So you got three options. You got these, you got these, and you got those. This is a green pumpkin. That's a green pumpkin and that's a watermelon. Personally, bro, I think you that would, would fit better. Yeah, look at the color match. Look at the color match. No, that's that's true. That's, that's fire, true. dude. See, the only thing I know is tie on a wake bait and throw it. <laughs> Me and Connor were just talking about it. If you think we should come out with some wake bait merch, I'll just build you a shirt, dude, and it's just got a wake bait. Me eating a bowl <laughs> of wake baits for breakfast. That's what it's going to be. All right, son. All right, give me one of them. One Salt of them. plastics. Which one, you know? though? <laughs> what are we looking at here? Salt plastics. Bro, hear me out. If you guys could see Connor's eyes behind the camera right now, I think he's very intrigued with what I'm about to say. Just imagine, bro. I feel like that's another 10 pounder bait, but am I risky enough to do it today? I don't think he is. I don't think I am. <laughs> I'm not sure. So last video I threw this, bro. This puppy right here, this is an old classic. The old lizard. And this color right here was smoking them, bro. I've actually been throwing this a lot recently. <laughs> it's, it's actually one of my favorite baits now. We can't choose it because we did it in the last episode. We want to keep it a little interesting. But right here, we do have a bunch of seven and a half inch curly tail worms. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different colors. I could easily go with the June bug and that's just a proven color to catch fish. But I think I'm gonna go a little out here with it and just keep it interesting. Look at this color though. This is called grape shad. I love grape flavored foods and I think these are gonna taste really good to the fish. Those look pretty dang good, dude. I like it. You think they're actually grape flavored? <laughs> What's going on here, dude? <laughs> All right, man, on to, on to your last bait. <laughs> All right, so this is the last bait that I can pick out. So I want to make this easy because Noah could sabotage me. So I'm thinking something I might like, just mess with you. You better be careful. No, he's it's your last choice. I, I know he is. In order to make this a little easier on myself, I'm going to go with a Senko. That's like a proven bait to always catch fish. If there's something that, that's on this wall that will just catch fish, it's no, definitely No, that. it's definitely these. Yeah, I don't... Is that the same color? That one looks a little darker, though. Between the Strike King and the Yums, these are actually a little bit cheaper. And me and Noah just put them side by side. And these are actually darker, which I like. I'm going for a darker color. So I think that's going to be the perfect bait for us today. All right, dude. Now I got to sabotage you. Don't do or it. Or should I? Or should I not? I don't know. I got to think about it. You won the last challenge, so I could really... At the same time, you're gonna you're gonna pick out my bait. So if I if I treat you dirty, you're probably gonna treat me dirty back. Okay, Connor, there's many of options, and I have no idea what this is. Um, I don't know where that thing's been. <clears throat> I think this is definitely one of those options. Oh my gosh! What do you think? Hi, <laughs> dude. I'm going home. What is that? So it's it's little uh, they're called emerald chimers that are dead. Or maybe they're alive. They sell these a lot at like Walmarts and little tackle shops. Do you actually think like people fish for this stuff? Like, look at that, dead crickets. Like, why not go to PetSmart and pick up some live crickets, bro? You know what I mean? Feed my frog or something. Let's see what else we got. Look at that. You think you can catch fish on that? I think we should just like go away definitely. from this section. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing that. But this is what I want to do. We can go in any order with these five baits that we want. Except the bait that I pick out for you, I want you to fish with last. I want that to be your fifth bait. And look at this, bro. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of eyeballing it before you even got down this section. Hey, that's your old classic right there. That's what I'm saying, the beetle spin, bro. It's not gonna be the easiest bait for you to catch fish with, but you can definitely catch a fish on it. I will give you the option. Do you like this color? They got green, they got chartreuse, they got black, and they also have this crazy looking pink one. Is there one that, like, in particular that you like? Probably go with the orange one. You like the orange one? Well, Connor, that is your fifth bait. Now it's time for you to pick out my last one. Don't mess me up, bro. All right, let's okay? do it, dude. You, you might have to go old school with me, too. I'm not going to lie. I thought Noah was going to, like, screw me over there. So I, I was initially going to get him something like this, which is, <laughs> like, I don't even know what that is, but. Dude, they're smelly. It would have been so funny if I did pick out these, though. Like, those aren't even real. I don't think they're real, are they? Weird looking. <laughs> 
He got me a beetle spin. I've honestly never fished with a beetle spin, so I don't I don't really even know how to catch fish on them. But I have fished with a rooster tail, and I used to fish with these Ooh. all the time. And Ooh. I think I think this is fair with what he got me. I like what you're doing here. So we have this yellow color right here, but I'll give you the option. Well, you don't have an option because there aren't any other. They're ones. all yellow? Okay, there's a white up here. Yeah, I would almost rather go with the big yellow one than a white one. You know what I mean? That's definitely what I'm doing. I appreciate you, Connor. We got the old school action. Rooster tail beetle spin. You cannot beat that. All right, boys. There is so many options, so welcome. Spinning rods up here on the right side. Kitty rods right here down low. We also have the old reel section. And Connor, if we need assistance. You press that button. You press it. <laughs> Guys, there's a lot of different options, but first I want to walk out to this side. I've only seen a few Walmarts that have as big of a selection as this one, so I'm super pumped that we came to this one. If we would have went to the other Walmart that we hit in the other episode, we would not have the options that we do today. They also have this whole section, and there's so many different combos. I mean, right here, you got just a standard baitcaster combo, and there's different ways that we can go about this. Like, I can either get a pre-made combo, or I can actually go buy a reel and put it on a rod, so that's an option. In the last Walmart video that we filmed, Connor with Fletcher, that's what we ended up doing. We ended up buying the rods and putting the reels on them. Look at this one. This one's actually pretty slick, dude. Ooh. It's an orange kicking combo. Yeah, with no handle. With no handle? <laughs> no handle. I went to grab it and there was just nothing there. What else we got? Look at this. We got this green one. <laughs> what's, what, what's going on here, dude? Why are they all gone? See, that's a problem. What we're really saying is there's a thousand rod and reel options, but 75% of them are good. <laughs> I know we actually used this combo, and dude, I was, or not combo, we used this rod. I was actually mad impressed with this rod, bro. Those rods were very impressive they for were the very, price. You bought one too, right? I did, yeah. So I bought one and Connor bought one. This is the Lose Laser, and dude, for the price, this thing was legit, but people are so rough on rods. I sell my own combos. The people that ship them, like when they, when they lay them on your front porch, they don't care, bro. And this is a prime example of it. Maybe Walmart doesn't care. Look at that, dude. That rod's flattened. Someone dropped something yep. on that. Man, I picked up three rods. They're all broken. <laughs> What's going on? Maybe that's why this is the discount section, you know? Dude. No wonder they broke. I'm about to make number four. Oh, my God. That's a Lose Xfinity. But if I'm not mistaken, isn't that supposed to come with a combo? Yeah, that should have a reel on it. I think. You got the wind grips on there. The same wind grips that we have on the kicking combo, just a different color. But I think we're gonna go with that, Connor. I just don't know the price of it. We need to check online real quick. All right, boys. So by the way, I did check this online and it's supposed to be a combo. As a combo, it's like 90 bucks. There's not a reel on it. So maybe we could go out there and bargain with them, Connor. I think that's what happens I here. We, I think we can make you it think happen. I can tell them like, okay, this is like a hundred dollar combo. You think I could tell them I want to give them 50 bucks since they don't have the reel? I guess we're gonna have to find out, but this is what I think I'm gonna go with guys. What is that? Did you hear that? Okay, so this is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm definitely gonna go with this orange rod. I think it's slick. And I want to go with a reel in here. We're going to have to press this for assistance when we want to, but I'm going to tell you, you see this right here? Dude, Connor, will that fit on a bait caster rod? I don't even know. Can I Are make you, it happen? You're actually, you're really going to throw I'm, one of those? I'm serious. I'm so, oh, dude, I think it'll fit. Okay, so that's what I think I'm going to go with. So that's 23 bucks, okay? We spent 20 bucks on baits. That puts us at $45. If I can get this puppy for 50 bucks, that's the $100 challenge. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. So that's what I think I'm going to go with, Connor. Now it's your turn. Do you have an idea? All right. <laughs> what was that? We, we, we just don't. <laughs> what was that? I'm a little disappointed. There's no wake baits. Like, there's really not any great combos that have line on it. But I found one. It's literally the sole one that I found that I think I would act, like, not actually work with. Just make sure it's not broke. Yeah, see, this one comes with a handle too, so we're like, we're we're set. If you find a fishing rod with a handle, you yeah. buy you buy that thing. I mean, gosh, today, like, if, if you found something with a handle on it, like, you gotta get that thing. Like, if run. you find one with a handle and some line, like, you better walk out. This one's thirty five bucks. Really? Okay. So you're gonna have a spinning rod. Your boy's gonna have a custom built Zebco thirty three. But we do have to press for assistance. A Walmart associate will be right with you. Hey, good afternoon. How can I? So we only spent $165, which is crazy because we pretty much had to spend 200 on it. So we walked out $35 richer, technically. All right, so this rod, I went and scanned it. It was actually $98. So I was like, crap, what do we do? So we went over to the service section. We showed the rod online with the reel on it. And we were like, yeah, this is supposed to have a reel on it for 98 bucks. 
And I was like, since it doesn't have the reel, I still want to buy the rod. Can we get it for 50% off? And we only paid 50 bucks for the puppy. 50 bucks, boys. That's a steal. So we paid 50 bucks for the rod, $22 for the reel. So that leaves us at 72 bucks. And then the rest was in baits. And obviously we felt a lot short on the $100 challenge. So now it is time to take Connor to his car and we're gonna get this challenge started. All right, guys, we just got in the car and it is time to go fishing. So pretty much how this challenge is gonna work is I'm going to my own ponds and Connor is in his car and he's gonna go to his own ponds. And the first person to catch a fish on all five of the lures wins the challenge. So I have a spot in mind that me and Tara hit a few months ago that I think has not only a lot of fish in the pond, but it also has some really big fish. So we're gonna head there first and see where it takes us. So let's go ahead and get out to our first location. All right, we just got to our first spot here. Let's look at our bait options and go ahead and pick something out for us. We got some options here. This is the one that Noah picked out for me. We do have a spinner bait and we also have some soft plastics. With this being a five bait challenge, I really feel like the best way to go is starting off with the hardest baits first so i say we start off with this and see if we can just go ahead and knock this out and move on to our other baits we are tying this bad boy on the good old uni knot and this line is six pound line the rod is also i'll show it to you but it's a medium light i thought it was just a medium which is going to be a bit of a pain because i do have texas rigs and that's going to be a nightmare to set the hook with uh with that flimsy old rod snip that tag end off Going to put our trash right back in the bag, along with our other baits. And let's get it started. All right, boys, we're here. We actually ended up putting the Zebco on this Xfinity setup, and look how clean it is, guys. It actually fit on perfectly, which I'm glad. I was worried about the real seat on here, but it ended up fitting flushly. I'm excited about it. It actually already has some line on here, and I want to say that's about eight pound mono. This is mono, so the line's gonna have a lot of stretch. We really got to make sure we get the hook into the fish so here we have all five of our baits and i want to do this in a specific order so first i want to start off with the moving bait at the pond we're about to go out to i think i want to have to start off with the chatter dog guys you guys know this is my confidence bait it's my favorite bait of all time and i'm hoping we get smoked on it and i do want to pair it up with the white fluke that we have and just so you guys know this doesn't count as catching a fish on both of these baits i'm going to still have to catch a fish on the fluke separate go ahead and rig that puppy up just like that oh yeah it looks saucy let's go ahead and tie this on our combo i'm also bringing out a scale with me we brought a scale just about every video this year except for that last challenge because it didn't really matter the size of the fish that we caught and i ended up catching a dang monster and connor caught a few good ones too so i'm definitely going to be bringing a scale with me we're going to tie this chatter donk on with a uni knot boom just like that i'm also going to bring this fluke out with me as well just in case we want to try to catch two fish at this pond but let's go ahead and get out there and test out this combo we're we're gonna give this thing a whirl just kind of around these edges i honestly don't really know how to fish a a bait like this just because i don't throw them but i'd have to assume like a straight reel is probably going to be our most efficient way my confidence will be a lot higher once we get past this bait i'm sorry oh my god there's a bash right there what oh dude i just spooked off the entire planet with that cast what the heck oh my gosh you see that what's going on right there it looks like bait popping everywhere that is weird here's what we're gonna do we are gonna load back up we're gonna grab our baits and we're actually just gonna head to a whole different pond i'll catch you guys at the next spot all right guys we have made it to our next spot before we cut this thing off though we're gonna go toss it around here and hopefully get us onto our second bait. All right, boys, made it out to the old pond. We got a scale and pliers. I'm gonna set that next to me. First things first, let's check our drag. Okay, definitely wanna run this a little loose just because I mean, we only got like eight pound line on here. So let's get a little cast test going. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, Connor's toast, boys. Okay, I will say the reel's kind of a distraction. Like you feel a, a lot moving around in the reel, but I can still slightly feel the chatterbait vibrating on the rod. Yeah, I can feel it just fine. Well, let's get the cast and see what we can do. This thing casts pretty good. I just gotta get used to it. Look at that, hit the other side of the bank. That's money. Let's see what we can catch in here. Give me a nibble, get me started out. Look at the baby turtle. 
Okay, this thing is definitely not as comfortable as just a standard bait caster. It's like pressing the button on the reel. With how the button's so raised on a Zebco, it's a little uncomfortable compared to a bait caster. And when you press it, see, it's just gonna fall out. So you really gotta keep your thumb on it good and release it. The release point's a little different than if I had a standard, uh-oh, had a standard bait caster on here. There we go. Oh no. Uh, dude, it's a nice one. I can't, I gotta type my drag. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's so aggravating, dude. It's like my drag just would not, I couldn't, that fish was so big, man. It was hard to tell that I even had a bite, to be honest with you. I was about to switch ponds and everything and just felt like I hit a brick wall and I guess that big boy just smoked that thing. Jeez, man, that stinks. So that's our one problem with right now. The rod's got a good bit of power. It's just the reel partnered up with this rod makes it a little tricky. I got enough power to drive that hook into the fish. But when it comes to catching up with the fish and just having power to drive it with the reel, it's just almost inexistent. And that was a definition of what just happened there. I couldn't do anything. The drag was just coming out. It gives me some confidence though, guys. Let's just keep on trying. I know we can get another one. Feel a bite right here, guys. Come on now. If we don't get a bite, we might need to move to a new spot. I had my opportunity. I freaking messed up. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head to the next spot. I have a pond that's walking distance from here. And uh, we should get eaten over there. So let's see what we can do. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we can get on board here. Yep, I can. First cast. First cast. Let's go, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Knocking my dang GoPro everywhere. Let's go, dude. First cast. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, favorite bait. I know I missed a three pounder earlier on it. But at least we got a fish on the bank. That's all that really matters. Chatterbait is done, boys. Not a big one, but he's a fish. Thank you for biting, baby. I appreciate you. There she goes. Let's go, baby. Oh, I just got freaking hammered. Oh my gosh. That that is my that's my first real bite. First real bite. Oh my gosh. I literally just slowed the bait down ever so slightly and gave it like these twitches and, and, and that fish hit. Oh, I cannot believe that. We're definitely not off to the best start here, but I think what we're gonna do is, is change up this bait after I kind of work it around these edges over here. We just gotta get the ball rolling. We haven't been able to, to make it happen yet. That's enough of that. We are going to head to the car and we're gonna run to our next spot. All right guys, well our first bait is done. Chatter donk complete. We're gonna go ahead and cut this puppy off. Snip, snip. And we're gonna move on to the fluke. Good thing I brought another bait with me. Just got a standard zoom fluke. This shouldn't be a hard bait to get bites on. I'm actually very confident with a fluke right now, especially with how hot it is today. We can work this really slow if we need to. My only concern is driving that extra wide gap hook into that fish. So let's see what we can do with it. Well, boys, we had a bite on this grass really quick. Let's see if there's any more fish up there. Just imagine. Bust out two really quick right here. We started off missing the fish, but that ain't gonna hurt us. As long as we can catch one in here pretty quick, I think we'll be on a good pace. Come on, baby. Dude, this ain't beams, boys. I'm all the way on the grass over there. Oh, we should get hit. That's a long cast to get a hook in this fish. <laughs> oh, completely missed him, guys. Oh my gosh. Finally got a bite on the fluke. He just kind of took it under. I didn't see him anymore. He just didn't get pinned. Make a couple casts. That sucks, guys. That's what I was worried about with this fluke is just getting the hook into him. I just don't think he had it all the way. It could have been a really small one. Okay, well, at least we got a bite on it. Let's keep moving. 
here's what we gonna do. We're cutting off that spinner bait and we're gonna save that for later. Those fish did not want to eat it no matter how I presented it to them. So for our Texas rig, we got two options of soft plastics. I feel like I'd need to try this like Cinco bait. These fish are being like finicky. I don't know if it's just because it's so hot out or they're just not wanted to eat, but we're going to throw this onto our Texas rig. And I'm actually just gonna go ahead and bring down all these other baits. Just in case we get on these fish, I wanna play it smart. We gotta get the ball rolling here. Oh, he ate it. Oh my gosh. Why, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening? Oh man, he was, aggressive like he came out of nowhere to smoke that thing and then i'm trying to throw these fish right over here and i can't get them to, to even look at the bait something just hit right on that bank over there it's a good little sign here throw it over there and get an aggressive one to come eat it come on he did i got him boys he's running at me He's running at me full speed. Come on now. And he came off. Are you kidding me? See, that is hard right there. Yeah, this is not easy. <laughs> this is definitely a challenge, boys. What, what worries me is Connor has just a normal spinning rod. I think he could just land most of this fish pretty easy. I would think at least, at least easier than this thing's being for me. And the crazy thing about this is I don't know what Connor has caught. I have no idea what he has yet. Who knows, he might not even have a bite. Oop, I just got bit again. Come on, come on. Dude, right when I popped it, I pulled it out of his mouth. Okay, at least we're getting bites down this bank. That's a good sign. We've had two, three bites in a matter of like 10 minutes, if not less. I've definitely seen the most activity in the whole pond right here. So I'm confident that we can get one and land a fish. We just gotta get them hooked good. That's been the hard part for us right now. There's a fish right there. A little tiny one. Might be able to get him to eat it. Oh, that's a horrible cast. That's such a tiny fish. Yes! There we go, boys. There we go, not big at all. Let me just get you on the bank, baby. Thank you. This is the most anorexic bass I have ever seen. What in the world did I just catch? Look at how small that fish is, guys. He's as thin as a piece of paper. Wow, pretty though. Thank you, baby. You, I, I kind of feel bad now. Like that fish actually needed a meal. <laughs> I just tricked him to bite a fake bait. Oh man. Done with bait number two. Let's get on to bait number three. It seems like those fish were kind of short striking it. One way that we can get around this is by throwing a shorter profile bait. And hopefully if a fish picks this up, that hook's gonna be in their mouth. All right, here's what we got going on. It's really hot, so instead of like popping the bait, I'm literally just gonna lift up on my rod tip and kind of pull it on the bottom, just dragging it. Come on, there he is. No, oh. I cannot get these fish to pick up the bait all the way. That was the second one. He picked it up twice and he ran with it and I still couldn't get him. Let me see if I can do something. Oh, oh my gosh. I just spooked a bass off right at the bank. Oh no. All right, boys, we have made it to our next spot and we have finished with the chatter donk and also the fluke. So, we're moving on to our third bait, and now we just got to decide the order that we want to do this in. So obviously the rooster tails last. So pretty much our options are between this worm and this trap. I have a pond that I've never fished before, and I really want to go try to throw this trap in it and just see if there's fish in there. But with the pond that we just pulled up to, there's actually a big tree in this pocket. And I think I can rig this worm up on a Texas rig and be able to pull one out of that brush pile. So we're going to cut this fluke off. 
boom put our old weight on the line i think this is our last bait that we're gonna have trouble with this has a treble hook on it and this has a treble hook on it we shouldn't have too much problems the fact that we got the chatter bait and the fluke done just makes me feel good because you have to put a little more power into those hook sets and this combo is not easy to fish with so this is our last bait that's probably going to give us some trouble i'm just hoping that we'll have a bite and catch them right away all right now for our worm See if these boys like the grape flavored stuff man i'm a big grape junkie grape and orange i'm a i'm a grape and orange type of guy look at that right there that looks spicy boys a little texas rig these fish are getting smart now i honestly feel like they can see me because this water is so clear okay okay that is our first bass of the day. That took exceptionally longer than I was expecting it to. That is a tiny bass, but we're gonna throw him back and we are onto our second bait. Look at that freaking boil, dude. I gotta be careful walking up to some of these spots. Ooh, dude, he just swirled on me, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, boys. We might not even have to, hold on. Hold on. <gasps> no freaking way no freaking way that fish is so tiny that i don't even know if we can count them that fish is tiny man we just pulled up here we haven't even really got to start fishing and i caught this guy what in the world okay there's no way that was the fish that made that boil but i will accept it bro i picked up the shell just thinking that it was going to be a normal like seashell that somebody just laid out here and look what in the world on to the next spot catch y'all in 10 minutes we're gonna texas rig the Senko here and i don't really like fishing them weightless but the rod that i'm using is so light i don't think i'm gonna have any problem with it so hopefully we tie this sucker on and we get smoked let's go give it a shot coming back to this spot this is this has definitely got to be the one spot that we've had the best luck at got him get up here that's a better one too there we go okay bait number two finally done oh my gosh well there we go guys that would be bait number two you're moving on to the next one thank you buddy all right boys fourth bait we are at a new pond that i have never been to before water looks really good i could i could honestly see some really big fish living here so let's start casting around and see what we can do. This trap should be a lot easier, boys. We shouldn't have as much trouble hooking the fish with this since it's a treble hook bait. We can easily lean into the fish and keep the pressure. So I think, I guess we'll see what happens. Every bait so far has been a little tough, except for that worm. That was unbelievable how quick we caught that fish. We should be able to catch them pretty quick on this trap or hook them pretty good at least, not have to worry about it. There we go. There we go, boys. Oh, he came off. Oh my gosh. That was a far distance to keep that fish hooked. I was all the way out there. That came back and bit me. I am tying this up in the car. It's freaking hot out there, guys. It's pretty brutal, but we're gonna tie this thing up. I'm gonna put this speed crawl on there. Hopefully we can move on to our next bait. That actually looks pretty good. I think this thing's gonna get smoked out there. All right, boys, I am back where it all started. I am scavenging just to get some bites. This is horrible. It's 100 degrees out here, and uh, it's hot, it's brutal, and these fish aren't biting, man. They really aren't. But I'm trying my best, trying my very best, and we're gonna complete this dang challenge. Just hoping I can get another good bite in here. All these other ponds that I've hit just have had too much grass. I can't even work this bait. Let's see if we can trigger one of these fish to bite. Even when I had that bite earlier, it took me dang 15 casts in the same corner before he even bit. There we go, boys. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh my gosh, stay pinned, baby, please. Please stay pinned. 
It's hard to fight these fish on the Zebco, boys. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pinned. Oh my gosh. Come on now. Come on now. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Let's just get you up here. Yes. Oh my God. Such a relief, guys. Such a freaking relief. Oh man. Not as big as that one I lost earlier out here, but that's a good fish. He stopped that thing cold turkey, boys. Let's freaking go. Only one bait to go, and we win this challenge. Let's go. It's a good little two, two and a half pounder. We haven't had really any good fish all day, so this one felt good. It's definitely a fun fight. It's just a little stressful because I really didn't want to lose him. <laughs> I guess my gut feeling to come back to this pond paid off the good two pounder. Thank you so much for biting, baby. It means so much to me. There she goes. Oh, that's a relief. On to bait number five. Well guys, it seems like this pond definitely has a trend. The fish are a lot bigger. That one I lost was an easy three pounder. That one right there was two to two and a half pounds. I mean, I will take it. I'll take every bit of it. Maybe we can end the challenge on a good fish on this rooster tail. I've been kind of switching ponds per bait. This one, I might just stick it out here and see if we can catch another one of these good fish. Complete this challenge, put it in the books and put Connor to the dust here. All right, old rooster tail, do your magic. Let's just start fan casting this thing. Oh yeah, I can cast that thing pretty good too. I'm just gonna kind of jig that thing and give it a steady retrieve here and there. We're gonna play with a bunch of different retrieves, just see if we can get a bite on it. Well guys, I kind of messed up. I gotta re-spool this. I like tried to pull my drag and just totally pop that line off. I need to retie real quick. Ooh, that thing's sounding a little grouchy now, guys. And I got a fish. I got a fish. Let's go, baby. This is the winner right here. It's just if we can land him. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, let's go, dude. Come on, baby. Last fish to win it. Let's go, boy. <laughs> let's freaking go. Look how he ate that rooster tail. There we have it, boys. Fifth and final fish. And we just took the dub. Thank you, baby.